Hi Aries, welcome back. All right. This is going to be a general reading for Aries. Blue just came up here. Okay, you know how she gets. She just like like I'm the boss of the house here. Spirit, give us a clear, concise message here for Aries. First card out, we have the Will of Fortune, but in reverse. Okay. We'll flip them around. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Huh. Six of Wands. Huh. Aries, why is it you always have somebody jealous of you? Like what? Like seriously, you always have somebody jealous of you. The haters be a hating. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> the haters be a hating. Ah, uh, Aries, you have somebody jealous of you. Okay. Seems like this person thinks that they're winning. Like, seriously. All right. Whatever. Right? They think that they're winning. They think that they're getting away with something, but they're not. Put this here. Okay. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me what is going on with the Ace of Swords. Because it looks like uh, we have the Seven of Wands too. Tell me more about that. Because it looks like somebody's about to speak up here. <laughs> somebody's about to say something. Somebody's about to speak up and say some truth. That's what I'm thinking. But let's find out. Okay. Tell me more. Somebody's not taking any action. It's the opposite of what I was expecting. Tell me more, Spirit. I'll see what we got here. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this person's not taking any action just yet, okay? But they want to with that Ace of Swords energy. It's like they want to say something. They want to have a new beginning. They want to speak up. They want to say some truth, right? They want to make the right moves, okay? But they're not. Of course not, because we have the Six of Wands coming out, right? So this person is not making the right moves, but they want to, okay? I think what happened here is you've cut this person out of your life. And they thought that they were going to have you exactly where they wanted you here. They thought that they were going to come in and love bomb on you, okay? But this person hasn't made any moves yet because this person is holding themselves back. Like, they are talking themselves into doing this, but then they're looking at all the things that could go wrong. So mentally, this person is not ready to step up to the plate. This person is jealous. They could be jealous because they feel like you get a lot of attention from the opposite sex. Okay? Uh, there is a truth on the table. Okay? There is a truth on the table. This person wants to give you a truth. They want to give you a choice here. Let me see. This person would love to be able to defend you. But this person's like all up in their head. Okay. They want to give you a love offer. They want to give you something solid here. They want to give you like their ten of cups. Right. They want a solid foundation with you. They're sabotaging themselves. So it looks like this is the beginning of a great love. Okay? At least that's how this person is seeing it. This is the beginning of a great love between the two of you. But for some reason, this person is still holding it back. Like they're holding, they're not saying something here. Okay? They're not, they're not communicating. It's like their their mouth doesn't work. <laughs> their mouth doesn't work when they're around you. I think you make this person very nervous. It looks like you make this person very nervous, Aries. So something about you making this person nervous is just it's like it's too much. The anticipation 
is too much for this person. That, yeah, they get really up in their head, you know. That's what it is. They get really up in their head about things and they, they don't know how to get the words out. So what this person is doing is they're like making fake pages so they can watch you. They're making fake pages so they can keep up with you. So they could tap in whenever they want to and see what you've got going on. But then they're not talking. They're not saying anything. Huh. I don't like that. I don't like that this person is doing that. But they do want to give you their cup of passion. So I think what it is is this person is really nervous. Like I said, they're really up in their head. They're really nervous about this. They don't know which way to go. I kind of feel like this person's on the fence, you know. Not that they don't have feelings for you. They do, okay. That's not the point. The point is not about them uh, having feelings for you. This person has his feelings for you. They're jealous, okay. Yeah. And for some reason, they think that by watching you, stalking you, getting information about you is giving them the upper hand. They're going to win because they're going to figure out what makes you tick, what makes you what makes you work, right? What's your passions? What gets you excited in the morning? You know, they're trying to figure all this stuff out because they're very determined to have this happy, happy home with you, right? But I just don't like the way they're doing it, though, okay? So they could be following you on anything or just following your friends. Um, post, things like that to get information about you, right? Yep. They're holding back their emotions here. They're not letting you know what's going on with their emotions. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Cups, please. Let's just go ahead and move on with this because this person is like flip-flopping. They want to give you an offer. They want to hold it back. They want to they want to be passionate with you, but then they're stuck in their head. Mm-hmm. Look at that. They're taking their sweet time here. They are. They're taking their sweet time here. So it's like they're afraid once the secret is out, it's out. Once the secret is out that they have feelings for you, it makes me feel like, Maybe this person has been burned before, you know, where they, like, let somebody know how much they cared about them or they let somebody know how much they loved them or something like that, right? And then that person ended up burning them because it, there's something about the truth coming out that, like, this person feels like once it gets out, they're not going to have control over this information, you know? The information part is what is causing this person to move so slow. So it's like they're trying to learn about you here, trying to figure out what makes you work, what makes you tick, right? They are wanting to go for it here, okay? It's just going to take them time to get it together. But like I said, this person's holding back. I see this person wanting to come towards you here to plan something here. What do they want to plan here? Usually this is like a um, a future. You know what? This person's running in circles. That's what it is, Aries. You have somebody who might be a Capricorn. Could be an air sign. A Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be another fire sign, actually. Could be another fire sign as well. Okay? Uh, another Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is wanting to come forward. They want to make a plan here, but they keep going in circles here. They don't know how to approach you. I think they get really giddy. They get giddy when they get around you. Tell me about the two of wands, Spirit. Please and thank you. They get giddy when they get around you. Well, they see you as a badass. They see you as having choices and being able to do whatever you want here. They see you as being very balanced and successful here. And then we have the judgment reverse. What's that about? 
uh, this person definitely sees you as being very successful here, okay? They see you as being, yeah, like you're on top of things. They see you as being experienced, okay? So we have the Three of Cups. Hmm. This person's afraid to make the wrong decision. Oh. Oh, I see it now. This person knows that they only have one chance to make a positive impression. Okay, this is why they're going in circles. They know that they they only have one chance, right? Uh, somewhere they read that, you know, they could only, like, they read somewhere like they have, like, 10 seconds to make a positive impression. You know, something like that, you know? So they're like, this is why they're like, I'm going to do it. Uh, wait a minute. Is my shirt clean? Is my shoes shining? Is my hair okay? You know, and then, so they they go in this vicious circle, right? So it's not just physical. It's like, are they ready? Are they not ready? You know? So they know they have to, like, have it just right. So this person's actually, like, playing a lot into this, which is good and bad. I don't know what to make of it, but, yeah, good. it's good because... They actually care a lot, right? To the point where they're thinking ahead. But it's kind of bad because they're not making any moves, right? <laughs> they're not making any moves, right? That's the problem. So this person's, uh, they want to invest. Okay, I'll give them that. We have the Valley of, of Goblets been reversed. And the Five of Cups. I feel like this person, every time they do this, you know, they, they beat themselves up. It's like they invest so much time and energy into this and then to stop themselves. So they end up beating themselves up because they put so much energy into it. And then to back out at the last minute, it's like this person keeps doing this over and over and over again. Oh, makes me feel bad for them. But this person is watching you, so be careful, okay? This person might even be behaving uh, passive aggressive. Like trolling you and saying things to see what your reactions are going to be in such a way that so that they could get information about you to see how you're going to respond. Yeah. That's how they're trying to get information of you or about you. Okay. By trying to troll you, see what how you respond. They're, they're wanting to see what you say online. Okay. Something about what you're saying online. Because of this person not uh, taking any action, this person's hurting themselves. You know? And it just keeps going in circles. They just keep hurting themselves over and over and over again. And they're going to just keep repeating the same cycle again and again. And they're getting jealous because you know what? You're talking to people online. That's what it is. You're talking to people online. And not knowing that this person is trolling you. So they're seeing what you're saying. And you're not really flirting. I'm not going to say like you're flirting with people. Okay. But it's more of like how this person is taking it. And that's what's making them jealous. Because you're like talking to other people. You're corresponding with other people. They don't know what the, what those people's genders are. It's just the, the fact that somebody else is getting your attention. You know, somebody else is getting Aries' attention, and that's just driving this person crazy. This person's going in circles. Wow, okay. So you very strong on the Capricorn, just so you know. Very strong on the Capricorn. Um, This person keeps doing this. They're, they're going to keep doing this, you know. They're going to keep going in this cycle of negative... Feeling the ups and lows, it's a lot, right? The ups and lows, like feeling like, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then nothing comes from it, you know? So that anticipation's building up and they don't go through with it. It's like running to the edge, right? And you're like, okay, I'm going to bungee jump this time, I'm going to do it. And they put so much, um, 
you know, so much into it, into preparing for it, and then they get there and they stop and they freeze. You know? Hmm. Let me see what's going on about that. The devil, okay. And the chariot. This person wants to seduce you. But they keep stopping. Okay, Aries, you have somebody who's obsessed with you here. And they're getting angry. But they're not angry about... They're not really angry with you. They're. I feel like this person's really angry with themselves. Because they don't have control here. Okay? And they feel unwelcomed by you. You know, because of course you, you don't know this person. Or, you, you know, you maybe you've talked to them a few times. But... There's nothing really solid between the two of you, right? There's no, like, set date or anything like that. You didn't agree to go out with this person just yet. So, and the anger is really this person being angry with themselves. Because they do feel blocked from you. But it's it's actually them that's doing it to themselves. And it just keeps going in this vicious circle. You might want to be kind to this person because it looks like they've been doing this for a long time. Okay, be kind to this person. Even though they're getting jealous, be kind to them. They put a lot of effort into this. This is this is kind of oh, you know what it reminds me of? Um The Jungle Book. Remember when he was following that girl and he's like watching her, but he wouldn't come near her? And he just like it kept or well, in the book in the movie it happens fast, right? But if you read the book it takes a while. It's not like it happens really fast, like he's just watching her and then he follows her and they, you know, start talking. No. But in in the book, right? I heard that in the book, you know, it's like a long thing where he's like watching her and he, you know, follows her around and she almost sees him and all this stuff. And this is what this is giving me the vibe of. Like this person is watching you. And then you turn around. And then they, they hide. Or they don't want you to see them. Or they act like they're doing something else. Like mowing the grass. Or something like that. But this person is definitely watching you. Um, So they know that you have an online platform. They know that you are online in some, some way, shape, or form. Okay? They know you are... Doing something online. Okay. Now, I did see that they were trolling you, which is interesting because people who troll you usually want to break you down, right? I don't think this person wants to break you down, but I think they are saying things to get your reaction. Okay. And they are using other um other accounts. So they want to see how you're gonna react. They wanna they wanna learn. You know, you can actually learn a lot from somebody by the way they react. Okay? You can learn a lot. Um, actually, there was a video that I saw that reminds me of this. They were telling... Uh, Taylor Swift, when she was 14, she had went to this uh, show. I forgot which one it was. But she went to some show and she uh, she wanted to sing for one of the... The people there, right? And the guy was like, no, you need to leave. I don't know how you got in here, right? Well, that was when she was 14. And then the uh, host of the show, let me know if you've seen this already. But the host of the show was like, oh, Taylor, do you remember this person? This is the person that rejected you back when you were 14. And, you know, instead of acting immature... Or anything like that. She actually handled it in a very beautiful way. Which tells you a lot about Taylor Swift as a person. You know? Very mature. Very demure. <laughs> she handled it very nicely. You know? Very compassionately. And, uh, yeah. The, the responses. I think the... I don't know if the host, what he was expecting really. Like... What was he expecting? I have no idea. But um, 
but her reaction tells you a lot. So remember that a person's reaction tells you a lot about what's going on in that person's life, how that person thinks, um, what they're feeling, right? Yeah, reactions say everything pretty much. It's like an open book, okay? This is why this person is doing that to you because they're trying to get information about you, okay? They want to know what kind of person you are. You already have this person hooked as far as your looks goes, as far as what this person can see of you, right? They're attracted of you. You know, there, there's an attraction there. But it looks like they, they just need to get to know you more before they can make the next step or take the next step, okay? That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope I said something that was helpful. Catch me in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.